What's up guys, I'm building the overflow box for the new tank. I got it moved over to this side of the garage. So anyways, the uh, overflow box, the internal overflow box of the tank measures uh, 45 inches long, 6 inches high, and 3 inches deep. <clears throat> um, and this is the internal overflow box. So see how thin it is. Basically, basically it's just going to sit on the inside of the tank. And then I'm going to drill a series of holes at the back of the tank that'll dump into an external part where all the drain lines will be. So there'll actually be a really thin, small overflow box in the tank, and then the back side will house all the plumbing. So that's where we're at. I'll come at you guys when I get the rest of it built. All right, guys, so I got the internal part of the overflow box built and the external part. So uh, the first clip was of this one here. This is gonna be the one that goes inside the tank. You can see there, it's only three inches deep. So that'll be the part that sticks off the back and goes in towards the tank and then it's six inches um, down. So it'll be six inches from the top into the tank. So have a pretty low profile and it's going to, I wanted to go with a coast to coast uh, skimmer type deal, but the glass that I had laying around here just wasn't long enough for that. So it's going to be like semi coast to coast, but it's going to have a lot of skimming surface. Um, and then this is the external part. This is going to be the, the box that's going to be on the outside. Um, this is the bottom of it. This is where I'm going to, oops, sorry. This is the bottom. This is where I'm going to put my three bulkheads uh, for the drains. And then this is going to be eight inches tall. Um, and that will just compensate for any water that might, I don't know, it's just going to be taller. Um, oh, no, that's what it is. It's This is going to be two inches lower this one is going to be two inches lower on the outside of the tank than the internal one. That way I get a little bit more back pressure. That's what it was for. Um, and then I'm going to drill three holes on the uh, back of the tank there. So tomorrow, once these, these parts of the overflows um, get dry, I'll uh, put the internal one. I'll install the internal one tomorrow on the inside of the tank. Um, and then... I'll finish building this external one. I gotta build um, sides, I gotta put sides on it. So you can see right here, there's no sides on it yet. So I gotta put sides on each side of it and then this part of the overflow box and I'll see you in the next clip with these all installed. What's up guys, I am drilling the tank now. Um, overflows kind of got knocked off the of schedule because I broke this one right here. So I silicone it back together and we'll see how um, shitty it looks pardon my language but we'll see how bad it looks when I get it in the tank <clears throat> um, the plan is anyways to cover this up with some GSP so hopefully um, I don't care it's gonna blend in so <clears throat> cause I don't have any more glass this size anyway so I gotta make it work so yeah it sucks that it broke it's not gonna be a super clean look now but whatever so I'm drilling the tank right now let me see if my phone will last long enough off the charger um, I've already started pre like drilling them so I already got got a, a nice little notch grinded out for all three of my holes here <clears throat> um, I measured out make sure the drill stays so this uh, this line here is for the external part I got it marked here you probably can't see it but this is for the external overflow box measurement so this is the external overflow and then the internal box bottom so this is the lowest point of the internal box and then that's the water level line so I did that oh, and then this line right here before it got erased by the water was um, how long the external one is so the internal one is 45 inches across the tank for skimming and then the outside one is 24 inches so marking the bottom of the internal and the external and the water level pretty much gave me a good guideline on where to drill these holes so and these are all exactly, uh, shoot, what was it? I think two and a half inches down from the lip. So these are two and a half inches down, and then the water level is going to sit at um, an inch and a half. So should be good here. And then I need to drill holes on the bottom of, oops, on the bottom of the external overflow. So we'll get going on that. And all right, I'll show you this. All right, guys, I'm going to try to show you guys the video of drilling the tank. It's going to be kind of a far view because. I'm going through all kinds of heck right now trying to figure out how to get my tripod set up 
and I gotta have it near my computer to keep the phone charged for this because my phone is dead. I mean, I got a charger running on the car, over the car with an extension cord. I'm trying to keep all the plugs off the ground because I'm gonna be running water. So that's what I got running here. I think the battery's dead. Um, so anyways, what I got here is my hole saw bit, one and a half inch uh, diamond coated hole saw and got some water and like I said, I already pre-drilled. So I already got my notch, so all I gotta do is just set the saw blade in there and we're ready to go, so let's get grinding. Alright guys, so you see there I drilled one of the holes. I didn't um, film drilling all three of them because I definitely, where's the bit at? I definitely need a new uh, hole saw bit. It is so dull. I mean, it took 15 minutes per hole to drill. And this one, I'm sure you can see it. I chipped it right here pretty good. But other than that, the rest of them went really well. No sharp edges, so... We're good to go. So there's my three holes. And it's still, I don't know if anybody can grasp the concept of what I'm doing, but basically there's not going to be any bulkheads in these three. They're just going to drain from the skimmer part of it on the interior of the tank. And these three are going to allow the water to drain into the external part. And then the external part is what's going to have my drains. So. Hope that makes sense, and I hope as I go along with this, it'll make better sense. But here are the three holes drilled here, and now I got to drill three holes um, into the bottom of this lower part, and then I got to drill uh, my return bulkheads. I'm going to drill one right about here, and then one in the corner on that side there. So I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm sick of drilling holes. So here it is the three drain holes are at least drilled. Alright, so I finished uh, building the external overflow, and so basically this is going to be a little tank on the outside of the tank, I guess you could say, and this is going to be the overflow box that drains um, to the bottom of the, or to the drain lines. So I got it propped up on this, these pieces of glass here, these scrap pieces, that way I could silicone these side pieces on so that's what's drying right now tomorrow I'll be gluing this overflow box to the back of the tank and you can see the drain holes here and that's what's going to drain into this external overflow box and then I'll have holes drilled ironically on this piece so it'll drain to the bottom so there it is all right, what's up guys? So I'm getting ready to install the uh, internal skimming part portion of the overflow. You can see I was trying to go for like a coast to coast, but the glass I had laying around wasn't long enough. And you can also see, I think I brought it up in one of the other clips, but forgive me because this is like three days old compared to when I uh, did the other clips. So I can't remember if I brought that up or not, but I cracked this piece. <clears throat> so what I had to do was silicone it back together and what I'm going to you end up doing anyways is I'm going to be backing this entire piece with acrylic where I'm going to notch teeth into it so I'm not worried about that at all <clears throat> so now I'll try to I'll try to find black acrylic so it should hide that just fine that's really strong it's you know I'm not worried about it at all plus it's not going to be bearing much pressure anyways so anyways I'm getting ready to install this part and I was trying to figure out after I figured out how the heck I'm going to keep it level I used uh, an old like meatloaf pan and I just kind of like crunched it down um, so it would hold this entire overflow box level but then I was thinking well how am I gonna get this side 
to be even with this side when I put it in. So when we're looking at the tank like this, the overflow box isn't kind of tilted like that. So what I'm going to end up doing is using <clears throat> this, uh, this rubber foam has got sticky side on it. So and see it's kind of raised up. So what I'll do is put this on each end of the overflow box and measure it out and then lay my bead of silicone down and um, just butt the overflow box up to that and because that's raised I should in theory have a level overflow box if I measure it out correctly so that's what I'm gonna do All right, you probably can't see it but you can see I think you probably can't see it but you can see <laughs> that was dumb so anyways I do got those sticky foam things in there the ones right there so I'm gonna lay my bead of silicone down on this and put it in all right guys, so um, I got the tank back on its bottom here and you can see that the uh, internal overflow is installed. I'm going to be using this acrylic to uh, run the length of it and notch some teeth into it. So that's what's going on with the acrylic sitting there. So right now what I'm doing is I just cleaned up all the silicone around all these edges here and I'm going to be installing the uh, Euro braces. Um, after, of course, I put in my teeth. And I still got to put in this side section here. And I know this really looks like garbage here, but, you know, hopefully once the uh, GSP grows over it, it'll look better. And I'm hoping once I put the uh, acrylic over this, it'll hide it more, but we'll just have to wait and see. So, yeah, I'm going to clean off the front glass here, and then I'm going to clean all the top edges here with uh, some acetone and then we're going to get these brand new sexy Euro braces on. All right. All right guys, so I went pretty primitive on uh, cutting the teeth and the acrylic. I used the table saw here and basically eyeballed it. Um, so the teeth are not like the perfect looking, like perfect spaces and stuff, but it's definitely going to get the job done. Use this piece here. It goes this way. So, there's the teeth, I'm going to silicone that in, and then we'll all get going on the Euro braces. Alright all right, guys, so, as you can see there, I got my uh, acrylic, like, grating stuff in there um, for the skimmer box. And you can probably also tell that the new Euro braces are on. So this is what they look like, a half inch thick, all installed now. Going to let these cure for a really good long time. And then I'm going to put the, uh, tomorrow, I'm done tonight. I'm so done working on this. I'm going to put these side ones on. So, that's where we're at right now. And there's the, uh, see if it'll focus in on it. And I know a lot of you guys are going to probably leave me a comment or write me an email that, Hey, your overflow box is underneath the Euro brace. How are you going to get in there? If anything gets past these weirs, it sh probably shouldn't be in my tank anyways, and it's going to go into the overflow box and get filtered out. <laughs> I mean, if a fish gets in there, I mean, there's like, I measured it straight to the top of the dang Euro brace here. So there's no way anything's going to be jumping in there. And I know the side is still open. That's I did this on purpose. Just if anything decided to fall in there, I could tip the tank and it would roll out this side here. So I'll be measuring this side piece here, and then this box will be completely enclosed. And then there's my three holes drilled there. That's big enough to pass just about any damn fish that might be small enough or might be clever enough, like maybe a six line or something, to weasel its way in there somehow. Um, it'll go through this hole and end up in the external overflow box and more than likely into the sump. So, yeah, here it is, guys. I got the other pieces here uh, for the old year, or for the old year, for the Euro brace. Um, and I'll be putting that on the short ends here. And those are just the old ones. Um, those didn't have an issue. And I didn't really suspect that they would. The other ones I was really... I didn't feel too good about them in the first place, but anyway, so here are, here are, here is the tank right now as it sits. Uh, new Euro braces are on, 
and they look sharp, look really good. And I cut these teeth out here with my table saw, so I know they do not look perfect, they're not perfect spaces or anything, but you know what, it's going to work for what I need it to do, so. Yeah guys, there it is. Got some more done, got the external overflow box now installed. And just for extra insurance, I added these uh, braces here just to bear some weight. I have full confidence in the silicone to hold this box all by itself, but like I said, you can never be too safe. So put these braces in, just one at each end, because I cracked the middle here and I just sealed it with another piece of glass and then drilled another hole through the second piece of glass. So the middle is pretty strong now, so I'm not worried about it. And I think, if I'm correct, yeah, I used a 3 8 piece of glass for the patch, so. Um, and we can see the uh, internal overflow box installed. I still got to put the end on, this little end cap here. Um, but yeah, here is the external overflow box. So I hope you guys are starting to understand how this is going to work. The, obviously the tank water is going to skim, um, oops, sorry, skim into this skimming portion of the overflow. And then from the skimming portion, it's just going to flow through these holes, these three holes right here. And then from here, we're going to have a bean animal set up. So we're going to have a full siphon, an emergency line, and like a Durso set up. So that's what that's going to be. There's not going to be any bulkheads here. These are just going to be free-flowing holes. So, yeah. All right, guys, if you've got any questions, always let me know. Take a look at what we got here. You can see the external box the internal skimmer portion and the teeth notched out on it. So here it is and uh, that's the uh, little braces that I put underneath the external just to give it that little added support. <coughs> yeah, here's the overflow guys. So next up for this tank will be I gotta clean this this side here. So, but um, next up for this tank is um, we're gonna be water testing. So we're gonna let this all cure. I'm um, still, you know, got another week or so since installing the uh, new Euro braces. So we gotta let these get nice and cured, and then uh, we will do the water test.